Wow, two freaking back to back uploads in one freaking day. Unbelievable, huh? Isn't that freaking awesome or what? But let me get this thing started, shall we? It is me. Wa, the chosen one. It is team right right here. How the hell is everyone doing? I am doing far out. Now, let me discuss about this. Now, this might be old news. It might be new news. But I want, I still want to discuss this regardless. I want to discuss about the new day. Now, new day are so darn over with the crowd. They had this new day cereal. And I thought they are going to have the new day popsicles. But I guess that fizzle out. I don't know what that whole happened. And they got so much merchandise. It is unreal. And they had a pretty unique feud between themselves and the Usos for the SmackDown Tag Team Belts. They met a few times. But I think the match everyone out there is talking about from this past Sunday at SummerSlam. But it was not on the main show. It was on a freaking pre-show. Way to go, WWE. Way to go. You guys are freaking dumbasses sometimes. Anyway, um, the Usos won the belts. And now hopefully they hold the belts longer. Maybe they break the New Day's record. I doubt it. But speaking of the New Day, once again, I'll put the article down below. Now, how much push do they really need they won the freaking raw belts they ha they had them for a long time they beat um uh, sheamus and zario or the reverse i forget who they beat it was a big blur and the reason they beat um i think uh cesario and sheamus i think because they want to beat demolitions all-time record I guess they are on bad terms with the W. That's how W does that. They punish the former W superstars who had the belts, like uh, CM Punk. You know, I forgot who broke that record. I don't know if anyone broke that record, but whatever. I hate when W does that. They always say records are meant to be broken, but stuff happens, right? And I get so tired of the new day. I made a, a special discussion about it. I thought. Possibility New Day, New Day is going to break up, but I don't think it's going to happen for a long time. And if they break up, who's going to turn heel? Who's going to leave the group, you know? So, I'm just not a big fan of this group anymore. They are so over. They are so played out. Um, how much they could do with the New Day, you know? And they did this um, this past Mania. They host WrestleMania. You know, that was very unique. At least they didn't add himself in that match. But instead of them, they have the Hardys. And that was a big moment. Not just for me, because I was attending every wrestling fan who who grew up with the Hardy Boys and the Attitude and beyond. So I don't know. How long do you think New Day is going to stick together? Do you think they're going to keep on going with this? You know? They got merchandise at the Yang Yang. I think if you go to the exclusive store called... I forget what it's called. At the mall. Um, they got a lot of merchandise on W.com. And... Um, I forget who pitched the idea. Was it Zaria Woods or is it Kofi? Because I guess the original idea was it was going to be a nation, a donation... 2.0 and that was a total fail and New Day just explode you know at first it didn't explode but I think their their second tag team run it was way better um, I think I saw their second title run when they first won it back at Chicago at the All State Arena and at Payback I think when they beat oh god I forgot who they beat for the belts um, so I'm just so tired of it you know I know it's not their fault because they do the same old stuff week after week. It's the creators of SmackDown. They don't know what to do with them, you know? Um, I don't know. And I think they have a pretty good 
uh, tag team um, division, but sometimes they use the same tag team over and over, like Usos, New Day, Usos, New Day, Usos, you know what I'm saying? So I guess the other teams don't really matter, you know? I'm so glad that a couple months ago, or was it you, you're one year from now, or I forgot how long ago already, when the, um, the Usos turned heel. Because the, the gimmick before, it was not really working out for them in my eyes. But they don't care. They get paid regardless of heel, face, they get paid. In. And um, sometimes if the New Day does autograph sessions from Access, I think W pays them extra. Or is that all part of a package? Has anyone, anyone out there met the New Day? Are they nice people? Are they douches? Just let me know. Douchebags, you know? Sometimes people are douchebags when they're out of character or they still don't character. I'm not really too sure. Now, can you imagine if the New Day possibly future Hall of Famers, or do they deserve it just because they broke the demolition's record? You know? They said they were two-time champions. How can they be? One's on SmackDown, one's on Raw. That makes no sense. I guess it doesn't really matter for them. Uh, I guess the most dominant tag team in this era. I think the most... Dominant tag team it, overall is Demolition and Legion of Doom. Well, I don't think DX or New Jet Law Outlaws is really dominant. They are, but not like the the good old days, you know. So, what you think about the article? This might be a fake report, but I don't care. I, don't, I won't get my thoughts on this matter. Um, I'm just getting so tired of the new day, and probably you guys feel the same way. Yeah, I think they they should. Break up the new day. I know you guys say, Team RNA, what are you talking about? They are so freaking over with the crowd. Exactly. How much over can I get? Just turn heel. Turn. I'm assuming one of them is going to turn heel on someone. Maybe. If they'll be pull the trigger. It won't be Kofi because he don't want the guts to turn heel. And it won't be Zeri Woods. I'm assuming that would be Big E turn on his buddies. Then what's, what do what they go from there? Does that mean... He goes for the main belt? No. Probably go for the US belt or maybe team up with somebody for the tag team belts or maybe they just leave it as is. I don't think they know what to do with all three of them as a split, you know? I cannot really imagine it. Or if they ever do split, maybe they put Exhibit Woods 205 and then put Kofi on SmackDown Live, go after. The U.S. belt, I think he did it in the past, or go after the tag team belts on his own with someone else's partner. Or maybe they could have Big E and Zero Woods going after the belts and then have Kofi go on Raw, but for him, for Raw, probably be a big old cluster, of, you know what I'm saying? But I think if you go to a live, 205 Live, that's like a downgrade, in my opinion. So I don't know if W ever wants to pull the trigger. To split them up. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. If they ever have another shakeup. I guess the rumor. They are going to have another. Dolly shakeup. They said after. SummerSlam. And SummerSlam is now in the book. So maybe. Sooner or later. So I don't know. They should just leave it as it is. Before this freaking shakeup. They kind of ruin things alone. I mean. They should never. They should never ever have a freaking shakeup. Things was just fine as it is. In my opinion. You might have a different opinion. So. Are you guys mad that New Day is keep winning freaking championships? Will you guys prefer they split up and they could win single goal? Or what do you think WWE is going to really do with the New Day? Absolutely nothing? Or you're not really worried about it? Or you're just tired of it? I know they had the serial, you know, around WrestleMania 32. They have so much merchandise, so I think they're fine, you know? I guess if the people buy their merchandise, they're not going to break up. But anything's possible in WWE. Like I said before, I'm going to say it again. McMahon has the final decision on these WWE's, um characters, you know. These wrestlers have no say so. Well, they want to, but McMahon always slams the door. That is not a good thing. That's a bad thing, you know. McMahon just runs the company. I think the wrestlers has, should have some a point of view on their, on their character, you know. McMahon, I think it's time for me to turn heel. I think McMahon, I think it's me for me to go on my own. But probably these wrestlers are so damn afraid. Talk to the boss. Talk to the head honcho. 
So I don't know. Maybe he could talk to Steph. Maybe these guys and gals could talk to Stephanie, and Stephanie could talk to her dad, and probably Triple H. I mean, not Triple H. Maybe Vince's. Not Vin, yeah, Vince's to Stephanie. No chance. No chance in hell, honey. And slams the door, and that really sums it up. I don't know how it really works. So once again, what's your um, thoughts on a new day? And the article will be down below. Let me know about the article. What's your thoughts? And I'm out here, and I'm done for today. And I'll definitely, hopefully, be back tomorrow. Have a good Friday, and have a spectacular weekend. This is Rai Rai. Is signing off.